Guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hey, what's up? My name is Maribel and I'm a personal trainer. Today, I'm getting right to the workout. I have a dorm or bedroom or tiny spaces workout. Let's get right into it. You are gonna be working for 30 seconds, resting for 15 seconds. Your goal is to reduce your rest as you do this workout. You should be doing this workout twice to three times a week. You do want to add dumbbells into your warm up. That's okay, but what I would advise is to start with a lighter weight. Do not warm up with the way that you're going to work out. Your muscles are not warm up yet and you do not want to hurt yourself. So if you normally would do a workout with an eight pounds, I would advise you to do either three pounds. We're gonna start with a warm up. We're gonna do squats. When you're doing squats, I want you to make sure to hold in your abs. And when you come up, instead of Thrusting up, I want you to squeeze your glutes as well as your inner thighs. Right after your squat, I want you to go ahead and do good mornings. If you have dumbbells, this is amazing. Grab your dumbbells, put them across your chest, and then just do your good morning. If you don't have dumbbells, that's totally fine. If you don't feel comfortable with good mornings, just go ahead and do a deadlift. If you have dumbbells, that would be perfectly as well. But if you don't, just do the motion like if you do have dumbbells. So it's going to be grabbing your dumbbells and just pushing all the way backwards with your hips. Don't be scared to push all the way back and then come back up. Again, we're not going to thrust. We're just going to squeeze. Throughout all this movement, you are breathing. Breathing is super important throughout your whole workout. Now, during this type of workout, what I did was I gave you one app movement, which I'm gonna show you at the end of the workout. However, throughout the whole workout, you should be holding in your abs to ensure that you are working your core. Those were your two warm-up moves. Make sure that you do do this warm-up for five minutes. So just repeat. Squat, good mornings, or squat and deadlift. Let's get right into this workout. First move is gonna be lunges. During your lunges, you wanna make sure that you're holding your core, you're breathing properly, and also you wanna have enough space within the leg up front and the leg behind. If you don't feel comfortable with lunges, all you have to do is hold your lunge. So basically you're gonna get into lunge position and instead of moving either down and up or forward and back, I want you just to kind of hold, lean forward a tiny bit. All of your force is coming from your legs but as well as your abs. And I just want you to hold the form for 30 Seconds. Your next move after your lunges will be bridges, elevated. So you are going to have your feet on your bed, your back on the floor, on your rug, and then you are going to push up from your hips, holding your core. Okay. If you want to elevate this move, you could not use your upper body, but if you need a little bit more of stability, just place your arms down and let your upper body help you push up your legs. If you want to advance this move, you could do one leg at a time. So this will elevate your move from a song one to a song two. Make sure that whatever you do on one side, you also do on the next. Don't forget you are working for 30 seconds and you're resting for 15. Once you're done with your glute bridges, make sure that you do rest and then you get ready for your next move. We are gonna be doing push up and twist. Now, I do wanna mention one thing for every move that you do that I didn't mention earlier. Each of these movements is four sets. 
I'm not giving you reps because it's a timer. So make sure that you do four sets, working with 30 seconds, resting for 15 seconds. So this is a set type of workout. It's not a circuit. So I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and move to my push-ups. So depending on what muscle you wanna work on when you're doing your push-up, it really depends how wide your arm should be. For me, because I wanna work on my chest area, my stand is gonna be wide. So we are gonna do a wide stand push-up. For all my girls who are starting their fitness journey, do not be ashamed to get on your knees and do your push-up ass. If this is still too much, I am gonna show you how to do your push-up using a wall. If now you feel like push-up is too much, just plank it out and then progressively get into a push-up movement. So the first one that I wanna show you is for all my girls who are on their knees. You're just gonna come down and then you're gonna come up. You are looking forward, you're holding your abs, you're squeezing your thighs, and you're also squeezing your glutes, the inside of your glutes. Once you feel comfortable with those, you do want to progress to a regular wide push-up. If you are following this specific video three times a week and I want your stand to start wide but to keep coming in on your third day your stand should be more close to your ribs and you are gonna come down and then try to come up during your rest is a perfect time to either hydrate or just rest unless you decide to do an active rest in my other video I believe in the ball workout, I showed you what an active rest looks like. You can either be jogging in place, walking in place, or just moving around. You don't want your heart rate to be as if you are working out, but you do want it to be steady. So our next move is going to be a ab twist. You are going to get on your knees and you're just going to twist. These movements are hitting the same muscles as if you were doing a ab twist. Guys, so this is your workout guy. Don't forget to comment down below, share this video. There's always enough for everyone. And if you don't follow me, go ahead and follow me on all my social medias, on Instagram, Pinterest, TikTok, all of this. So guys, thank you again for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Comment down below what kind of workout do you need or any questions that you want me to answer. I'll be more than happy to help you guys. Bye.